This is the Auto Campers Leisure Van. You can specify it on either a Ford Transit Custom base vehicle or a VW Transporter, and it's available in two body lengths, a short wheelbase and a long wheelbase, and it's available with three different roof heights. The steel roof, uh, low line model, a high top, high line model, and this one we've got here today, which has got the pop top elevating roof. So let's take a closer look inside. Inside, you'll notice one or two unique features to this particular van. For starters, fixed bank of cabinets on this side. You've also got your twin burner hob, sink, lots of storage, cutlery drawer, and unusually, you've got this fridge which slides forward. This combined with the twin sliding doors means you've got access to the fridge from both sides. It also means it's very flexible and there's more room when you're spinning the driver's seat round. So, how easy are the cab seats to retain? Well, I'll do the driver's one because that's traditionally the hardest. Just release the catch, there's a little red catch under the front edge. Rotate it all the way around. That's it. And slide it back. If you want more room, that's it. One of the great things about the Leisure Van is the layout really makes excellent use of the twin door layout. It's really designed to maximise indoor, outdoor enjoyment. I'll show you how that works. The kitchen pod, as you can see, there's a nice gap so you can enter and exit. You've also got this flip up flap, so ideal for mugs, or you can put a barbecue on it. You can access your cutlery drawer from this side as well, which is quite a thoughtful touch. There's also a second flip-up flap for even more worktop space and you can tell they actually use the vans. These are really thoughtful bits of design. If you want the ultimate in space, then high top, long wheelbase is where you want to go. So let's have a look at the leisure van in that form. Well, as you can see in this high top uh, sliding seat leisure van, it really is all about the space. There's so much room in here. I mean, I can stretch out in all directions. Roof height, just under six foot. And the 400 millimeter um, extra length of the long wheelbase translates to a 400 millimeter slice of extra space. So for example, much larger storage area, You've got the same locker down there. This one's got the loo in it. Lots of storage spaces. As you can see, far more generous amount of worktop. One of the key advantages of the high top is look at all this storage you get. There's a vast amount of roof storage um, all the way around the vehicle. So there's a lot more storage options and they're quite large as well. I mean, there's loads of room in there. The high top shares the same clever wardrobe system as the other models. So you slide a catch, drop that bit down, slide a catch here, flip that bit up and then you can use the full hanging rail. You also get a solar panel as you can see. It's charging both batteries now. The Leisure Van is designed to suit all hobbies and its clever rear seating system enables it to take four adults in complete comfort and safety. Let's take a closer look at this innovative design. One of the really great things about the Leisure Van is this clever uh, seat and bed system. This is the mid-mounted version. You can also get it mounted on sliding rails. You can slide it, it easily slides forwards on these rails. It locks in lots of different positions along the rail as well, so there's lots of uh, adjustment on it. Or you can have it all the way back here, get an absolutely vast amount of lounge space, so very flexible seating option. This is the fixed one, but it has a few clever tricks which I'm just going to show you. So for starters, you're sitting on the bed, you just pull these catches here, you bring it forward, and you can recline it. It goes in several steps so you can get it 
really quite reclined. I think there's one more. And uh, yeah, it's quite a good sort of chaise long vibe going on. To make up the bed, just pull the headdress off, pop them out of the way, just pull the catches fully down. Tuck the seat belt the catches out of the way. And that's the, the bed made up. The bed's good and flat, six foot long by four foot wide. So a real good, deep, comfortable bed. I'll show you how to get the backrest flipped up. So what you can also do is lift this up and the it ratchet, it ratchets up in stages so you can have it. That. So, this is great for sitting up in bed and reading a book. I really like that feature. Really clever bit of design. And it flips vertical. That's to take advantage of full height storage in the rear. We'll show you that later. To flip it down, flush again. Pull up this tag. Put the bed up, use this strap, pull it up and pull, push it with your knees like that until it clicks. Once it clicks, it's back on the ratchet system. This is an M1 tested travel seat and the two travel seats are both a really good size for adults or kids. So safe for all the family. It's a lovely smooth drive. That's the thing that really stands out. So if you think of using one of these as a daily driver, I don't think you'd struggle at all. It could easily replace a family car. One thing that's really good on the limited spec, you get a 10-way adjustable seat, you've got the leather steering wheel, leather trim on the gear knob, so very tactile, feels great. Also, this generation of Transit Custom, it's got the electronic power steering, which varies the assistance depending on the speed. Autocampers build on the high-spec limited model, so you have all sorts of nice bells and whistles as standard, so it does feel very premium, which, you know, when you're spending 50,000 plus on a camper van, that's important. Um, overall, smooth, comfortable, easy. If you don't like driving this, then just give up. When it comes to storage options on the leisure van, the high top in particular has masses of room. And the bed's not even all the way back travel suit. So gas lockers here. You can also drop this backrest down. It forms a natural seat as well. This particular one's got the leather option. But the real benefit of this sliding seat system is when you push it all the way forwards. Just see how much space you gain. This is a massive storage area. Uh, you try finding an SUV or an estate car with this much room in it. Thanks to the twin sliding doors, you can add an awning to either side of the leisure van, while the sliding seat option adds versatility and can be positioned perfectly for dining. If you want four berths, tick the option for the pop-top roof system. 